So it looks like we have further clarification on what happened between Jesus and Mero and the end of their very popular Showtime show and partnership. Welcome back to the Campfire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So I've been hearing about Jesus and Mero for years. Honestly, I have not been one of the, the, the longtime Hive fans of these guys, even though they're from my city. But I've known of them. They've always been in the atmosphere and they've had multiple success on multiple platforms over the years. But as you know, they had a very popular show on Showtime. But you also probably know that the two have decided to end their show and part ways. There have been all kinds of rumors as to why well, just maybe at last week, a rumor, according to multiple sources, the reason why the two split after many years together was because of their manager. So this is coming from our friends over at Complex, because you know what we do here, as always, cite our sources. They're reporting that Miro is responding to what really happened between him and Jesus. So they report this. They said just a week after Jesus and Kid Mero announced their decision to part ways, further details surrounding the comedic duo split have come to light. So last Thursday, Puck News reported that Jesus and Mero's creative partnership ended over management disputes, with five sources close to the situation telling the outlet that Showtime asked the duo's manager, Victor Lopez, to quote, no longer attend tapings or appear in meetings. Okay, this was back in November. So Jesus allegedly took Showtime's side as the network accused Lopez of, quote, behavior. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that included bullying, screaming, and making people on the show feel bad. Sounds about New York. Just saying. <laughs> It's that New York energy, but it's still not great for a professional environment. So meanwhile, Miro reportedly stood by Victor Lopez's side, the manager's side. So days after the report was published, Miro sat down with New York's WFAN on Monday to discuss the breakup. So according to Mary says, it's just a natural progression. It's like we said on the podcast, it's Hollywood, baby. You develop strengths and things that you want to explore and do, and then things just happen naturally. It's just like Spike Jones said on The Viceland Show, everything is finite. What's the corny cliche? Don't be sad that it's gone. Be happy that you experienced it. However, Miro went on to praise his co-host, suggesting that the pair's decision to split was mutual. Miro continued by saying, everybody grows. I'm sure Dee's got his things that he wants to do. I got my things I want to do, and they're very specific to us. We've been a duo for a long time. I love everything that he's done. It's just natural. I've got my life, my worldview, my things going on, and he's got his. So it's only right that instead of just saying, like, we're only going to do this one thing, we explore. Let's break out. Let's see what we do as individuals and then form like Voltron later on. Who knows? However, according to Complex, hours after appearing on WFAN, Miro hopped on Twitch where he poked fun at his very political answer to the split. In response to a user in the chat who asked about his well-being, Miro said, I'm from outside. I've been through worse. Does it hurt? Yeah, but you know what? We're coming right back. While Miro hasn't acknowledged the Puck report in regards to management being the issue for the split between the dynamic duo, he did like a pair of tweets about his split from Jesus having to do with their manager. So you may recall Showtime announced the split not too long ago saying Jesus, Nice, and the Kid Miro will be pursuing separate creative endeavors moving forward. Showtime's late night talk show, Jesus and Mero, will not be returning for a fifth season. Its final episode aired Thursday, June 23rd. Shortly after the news broke, Jesus took to Twitter to share his thoughts on the announcement, writing, shouts to Showtime and shouts to The Hive. Thanks for being a part of the journey. Proud of the show. My staff made every episode. Big things soon come. 
as I said to you before, I was never someone that watched Jesus and Mero chapter and verse over the years, but I knew who they were. I knew that they were building this huge community. And to hear them split, I've been watching the news and all the reports over the last couple of weeks, but I didn't speak on it until now because I just found the time to do it. And here's the thing. It, 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 this is very reminiscent of when boy bands or girl groups break up or partnerships break up. It is life. People evolve. We are all evolving. If you're not involving, evolving, then what are you doing? I know people say things about content creators that, that collabed at one point and they don't collab anymore. And they're like, what happened? What happened? What I love about Jesus and Murrow, they have handled this in such a mature way. This could have gotten ugly. This could have gotten nasty. This could have gotten very shady, which would have affected their fans. The people that were fans of the show, people that are fans of the individuals, they decided to take the high road, which I love, which also leads the door open for them to come back together in the future. They obviously have chemistry. They obviously created something that was big and beautiful. And I know their community is going to miss it. But as the community, we should also understand that these are two grown men that came up together, created something dynamic, and now have decided individually, I want to do something different. And did the management situation be a catalyst for that? Sometimes that's what you need. Sometimes you need a catalyst to make you think to yourself, well, maybe this is not what I want anymore. Maybe I want to go pursue something completely different. And when you're in a collab with, with someone and in business with someone, that makes it a little bit harder. And sometimes you need that outside force to come in between and be like, oh, yeah, maybe I do need to separate myself for a little bit, try some things. And you never know. These two guys can still come back together. It seems as if there isn't necessarily bad blood, but just a difference of opinion. Guys, I want to know your reaction to this because I know there are plenty of D's, especially here in New York, Jesus and Mero fans. I want to know your reaction to this split. What will you miss about them the most? Do you think that they are handling this in such a great way? I do. I think that that is the definition of true character on how they're handling this. Let's continue that conversation in the comment section. And as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.